Hello all. So today I came up with another video on Android application penetration testing series, uh, which is part nine. So in this video, I will be doing all the practical stuff uh, in the static analysis part for any of the Android application. And uh, in our case, the Android application is injured Android, which is a complete CTF based application uh, at, and which is uh, completely intended vulnerable. And uh, I will be doing uh, four CTFs for the same to understand the complete process of static analysis that uh, that how we can uh, import the APK and how we can uh, uh, start analysis for the same. So let's get started. So uh, as you can see, uh, I have already imported the application, but uh, to start with the fresh, I'll uh, importing again. So just press Control O and uh, select the APK where you have saved your uh, application or the dot uh, APK file selected and just import, wait for extracting all the files with, uh, from the APK. So after, uh, after the process is done, you will be seeing uh, two main folders over there. And the first one is source code and the second one is the resources file. So as I've already uh, explained in, the, in my previous videos, like what uh, you will see in source code folder and what you will see in resource folder. So I'll just start with the practical implementation over the uh, over this application. So for any of the application, there is a package name for that particular APK. So uh, for this uh, APK, we have bnag.injured Android. So just click on that. Okay, so start with the CTF. Our first CTF is uh, flag one, that is login. So uh, as you can see here, uh, there is a uh, UI uh, which provide an input field, a submit button and a message called input flag and push the submit button. So what you have to do is just import or input that particular flag and uh, click on the submit button. So uh, over there, if you can see at the down bottom right corner, if you click on that, uh, this will showing that the flag is under your nose and it is providing basically uh, uh, a hint to find that particular um, flag. So uh, coming back to our uh, JDX UI. So uh, I have already selected that flag one login activity, which stands for uh, a file for that uh, for that particular uh, CTF one. So if you can see here, uh, as as this pro complete process is static analysis, so you have to check each and every code one by one uh, to find any uh, any uh, useful stuff over there. To start with this, uh, there is a public class called flag uh, flag one login activity, and if we go at the town, you will be seeing uh, see all those uh, uh, hint messages over there. So what exactly this uh, this code will doing is just popped uh, uh, this this particular message when you click on that particular button that uh, that is called snack bar. If we go uh, down, uh, there is a there is a again uh, um, a class called uh, flag submit where you where uh, this particular uh, code will check the input and the and the string which is available in that particular code. So as you can see here, uh, when when you enter any input, any string in that input field, uh, this input field will be checked this particular flag. And uh, it is quite clear that uh, this this particular flag is uh, this particular string is our first flag that is flag one. So if we um, copy this and uh, put it over here and submit it, and bingo, we, we got our first flag. So what I have done is just go to that particular file, uh, look out some of this classes, what this classes is doing and uh, start uh, analysis for the same. So uh, sometimes you will be finding any hard coded string or any hard coded keys in, in particular file. So you have to check about uh, that particular key or uh, particular string manually. So it has come only under uh, practice. If you do a lot of practice, you will be getting a, a, a let's say, a pro in this particular um, uh, static analysis process. So uh, uh, as we as we have already solved our uh, first flag, let's jump to our uh, second flag, which is uh, flag two. That is 
exported activity so again uh, they have provided one hint that is there is a way to bypass the main activity and invoke other activity that are so i think uh, the the uh, hint is not correct or not appropriate so let's open this particular second file that is flag second or flag uh, two so there is file called flag two activity okay got it so okay so if you can see in this particular code uh, again they have provided a snag bar again they have provided some of the um, hints so what those hints are keywords activity and exported uh, exported activities can be accessed with adb and or drosen so uh, if if we see this particular exported term and exported activity can be uh, accessed with adb this uh, predict this depict that uh, we have to uh, play around over the adb um, adb command or adb tool uh, in order to in order to exploit this particular activity so if we go down there are some other classes so i think um, we don't need to check over there so uh, as you have remember uh, i have mentioned like um, if if in uh, android manifest file then if there is a parameter called exp uh, exported is equals to true then uh, you, this that activity will be uh, accessible outside the apk so let's jump to our uh, android manifest file and see if there is any uh, exported true terms or not exported Mm, exported and true. Cool. So, if you can see here, there are two activities that is uh, uh, QXV0A uh, something something. And if we go down and see, uh, there is again a um, activity called this. So, what you have to do is just take the activity name, copy this open any terminal or any uh, code editor i'll prefer uh, vs code so if you go to the vs code and uh, type adb uh, shell to get into that particular uh, uh, mobile environment and uh, as you can see if i run a command called am that is activity manager which provide you all the related command related to the activities which is performing or which is uh, uh uh acting at that particular or in that particular apk so start with the uh, am and uh, followed by start and we have to uh, provide the package name or uh, i'm sorry uh, we have to provide the activity name for the same and put uh, slash before uh, dot uh, after the activity name and if we go uh, as you can see uh, when i hit that particular uh, uh, activity start then it the intent will be started and uh, as you can see here you will be getting the second flag uh, second flag over the uh, activity what what exactly i have done is just uh, access that particular activity outside the apk which is not uh, intended to make uh, or build at that particular time so that we can get an, an uh, additional information which is not uh, seeing in that particular apk build so here if you can see uh, we got our second flag that is uh, s3 second flag and uh, i can't be able to copy that okay so we have already uh, complete that particular flag okay so let's jump to our third ctf which is uh, again flag 3 activity file so we have to go to that particular flag 3 activity and look for the look for these hints which is available in that particular code so they have provide r stands for resources and check dot xml files so what uh, this code is try to say or try to provide a hint for the same like to go in the resource dot uh, arsc folder uh, in that res values and go to the strings uh, file strings dot xml file so if you can see here in the flag three activity they have they have provide one string called cm these are some uh, some encoded thing so if we search in, in particular this file and here we go uh, we got that particular string and in that particular string there is a value called flag 3 
So we can copy this and just put it in the input key. And if we submit it, bingo, we, we, we uh, solve that particular CTF3. So coming back to our uh, fourth and uh, very last CTF for the same. And again, they have provided a, like an input, a submit button and, and a snack bar. Okay, when click on this, they will be provided where is a pop, uh, classes and imports, and where is a pop. Again, they have provided only two hints for the same. So I think we are okay with that two hints. <laughs> so uh, just start with this. Go to that particular flag for activity. Uh, check for this uh, particular hint. They have again a, uh, provided a snack bar as, as I have already mentioned or already uh, explained in that particular uh, first log, uh, first one login activity CTF. Uh, if we go down, they have, uh, okay, so they have just uh, checking that particular object in this particular uh, uh, condition. So what we have to do is, uh check for this particular function called g so if we if we look at uh the other files there is a file called g and if we check uh in this particular file they have provide some base 64 uh base 64 string as this particular file is called in this particular uh for flag for activity as you can see here they have uh, calling this particular function uh with uh, with a function called a and if we go to let's say a i think we we don't have any uh, flag over there or any uh strings which is which is uh like seems to be a, a solution for the same so if a doesn't have that we can go to this uh, uh g function and if we go to that g okay so g have provided some um b64 um string so if we decode this, you will be get a, your fourth flag. So let me decode the string. So as you can see, uh, after decoding this particular string, uh, if we put here, that is four underscore over drone, I mean overdone uh, underscore omelets. So if, we, if I click on submit, and again, we solved our fourth CTF. Okay, so this is it for today. Uh, I have shown you uh, the exact procedure that how you can uh, import your APK, how you can start with uh, in uh, start with the static analysis, how you can check for each and every file which is relatively to uh, to any of the function or any of the uh, object which is again uh, written in that particular code. As uh, you have to check each and every file which is which you think that might be susceptible uh, to get any information from that particular file. So let's say uh, all the uh, strings which is uh, available in that particular RES folder, which you will get all the information about the strings and other related things. So if we go to that particular, uh, let's say strings.xml, you will be getting, uh, let's say, uh, AW, AWS ID, AWS secret, uh, again, uh, like the flag for and other related, uh, other related information over there. So if you remember our uh, third flag again, uh, which is available in this particular string file. So uh, as you can see here, you will be getting all the information regarding any string, which is uh, which is used by this particular uh, the APK, which you, you are going to use as a target. So see you on the next sector of the series. And I hope you learn something new. Bye bye.